Hi everybody, just a quick modding video for Daisy. Um, I'm going to show you how to spawn in more of the Pioneer or uh, Scout Police uh, sniper rifle that has dropped with the 112 update. Remember this works for console, Xbox, PlayStation and PC. Um, and there's a couple of files we're going to be playing with. So what you want to do is you want to go to your server, in this case I'm showing you uh, Nitrado as an example go into the web interface get into the dashboard go to the file browser you want to find the missions folder if you're on PC you've got to dig a little bit further to get to the missions folder if it's a Chernerus um, server it's Chernerus plus if it's uh, a Livonia server it will be Enoch click on that bit and you want to go into the DB folder and the files we're gonna look at are we're gonna download the types one so if you uh, click on that little button there and download that and then if we then go back up one we also want to download the spawnable types one as well where is it cfg spawnable types there you are cfg spawnable types so you want to click download at the, on those you want to make a backup of each just in case you make a mistake and then when we want to open those up in our editor so let's have a look so first off let's look at adjusting the number of these um, weapons that spawn in on the map so let's take the first one the scout so just do a control f search for scout and that will take you to the pioneer because they just for some reason daisy really enjoy using different names so you would do uh, let me show you actually so if you're at the top of your file hit control f search for scout there we go uh, the mag comes up first and then we've got the scout rifle so here we are. here we have the types entry for the scout as you can see there's only two of them normally spawn in on the map um, in prison locations so that's not very many at all so let's whack that up to 10 let's whack up the minimum to 8 now the second types of scouts that spawn in the scout churner so we're, we're talking about churners here there's only five of them so let's whack that up to 10 to put the minimum up to eight but the real problem with these the ones that spawn sorry the first scout spawns in prison locations the second one as you can see the usage name is police however it's a dynamic event loot item which means that it will spawn in on police car crashes you know the ones that you find dotted around that, that kind of change location so really what i would recommend you do is change that to zero that way it will spawn in in police stations the big police stations and probably guard houses as well which i think is a probably a better way of doing it so now we've got quite a lot more scouts spawning around the map um, but you also probably want them to spawn in um, with different things on them so if we go to the uh, cfg spawnable types file and we look at the scout here we can see to start off with that the first attachment has a three-quarter chance of uh, being attached and that's a that's a, a mag so what we can do is if we change that attachment chance to 1.00 that means that they will all spawn in with a mag which is useful it's always good to have a gun with bullets as soon as you find it and then it's got a quarter chance of spawning in with one of these one of these optics uh, or a suppressor what I would recommend you do is I would do something like this I would copy that and then copy it again and I would do something like this so I would take the M4 suppressor like so and I would paste that into that one like so and then I would take the ACOG optic and I would paste that into there and I would get rid of those so what we've done here is just make sure the open so attachment open attachment close attachment open attachment close attachment what we've done here is we said that the scout rifle will spawn in definitely with a mag Definitely with the ACOG optic, which is the four times optic that doesn't need a battery to be illuminated, and definitely a suppressor, which I think is a. I think that's a nice change, isn't it? So, 
if we then what we can then do is we can just copy all of those there within the types go down to scout Chernerus if we paste those over the top nice and carefully open close open close open close there we go so the scouts that will spawn in on Chernerus will spawn in with magazines um, ACOG optics and a suppressor which is nice now let's go back to the types and let's go back to the top do a control F and search for scout again um, so mag scout five round there's only eight spawn on the map so let's change that to 20 let's change the minimum to 18 quant min quant max now there's a few of these what look like spelling errors this time so the quant min quant max is the amount of bullets should, that should spawn inside one of these so if we say 99 to 100 so that means these five round mags will spawn in full of bullets basically the other thing they've done is they've said it's only tier th two three and four so what we do if we get rid of that value there what that means now is that um the scout mags will spawn in at police stations near the coast as well rather than being sort of towards the northwest counting map that's all right okay so that's so that's good so we could save that the final thing you may want to do this is just an extra little tip actually is if you go to the top of your spawnable types file see at the top where it says damage um if you change that to 0.1 and 0.2 what that will do is that will make everything that spawns in spawn in pristine so it will last longer is it it's, it's a really nice thing to do if you've got like a you know a server which is attracting like lots of people who are probably new to the game um, and it helps them to survive make it like a little bit of a quality of life increase um, so there we go we have added more let's go back to the scouts control f scout we have added more scouts we have turned them from being uh, some of them anyway from being a dynamic event loot item to a normal item and we've added we've changed the spawnable types so that it will spawn in with a uh, definitely a mag definitely a scope and definitely a suppressor on it and that mag will be full of bullets so you want to save those files and then when you want to go back over to your nitrado server and then when you want to upload the cfg spawnable types on top of the existing spawnable types then you want to go back into the db file folder and you want to upload the uh, types.xml over the top of the existing types.xml and you want to restart the server and you will then have a few more pioneers there we go so anyway hopefully you found that useful if you've got any questions or comments please put them uh, yeah, below the video um if you enjoyed the video like if you want to see more same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon